Hey everybody, hope you're doing good. As you may well know, there's an old school method of being able to visualize airflow on a car, plane, motorcycle. They're called tufts. It's basically little pieces of string that you stick all over the vehicle and it lets you visualize airflow. It lets you see uh, where there's high pressure and low pressure. So for instance, say there's a low pressure here, these are gonna be lifting up like this. If there's a high pressure it's, and it's the airflow's coming across it like this, it's gonna be like a laminar flow, it's going to be nice and straight. It's, there's basically lots to be seen by strings moving on the surface of a surface, moving through the air. Now, you may have seen this in the movie Ford Fees Ferrari, or it's called something else if you're in America. Uh, you may have seen this in old school stuff about planes, even modern plane stuff, testing of things. I searched Google, and I couldn't find a single image of someone doing this to a motorcycle. Now, I probably just didn't find it, but... It wasn't easy to find. And I was like, I'm doing it. I'm gonna stick strings all over my bike. I'm gonna stick some cameras on it. And we're just gonna go for a ride. I think it would just be really interesting to see the airflow around the bike. You know, you can guess what a lot of it's doing, but at the same time, it might be interesting to see it visualized. Oh, they're all jiggling. You'll be able to see more and I'll move the cameras around a bit more as we go along. But the screen ones are absolutely just stuck in place. And unsurprisingly, the ones on the tank, most of them are facing back that way that shows there's a low pressure because of the screen. The same thing should be happening on the seat behind me. Oh, it's like a load of little whammies just wiggling around. Why are we doing 20 and a 40? Right, I've adjusted the GoPro so you can see the tank and you should see these start to face forwards. How to get funny looks 101, turn your bike half furry. I wondered if air was getting through this hole, and I don't think it is, because they just sit there dead still. Now, I know people would love to see me do this on a 70 mile an hour road, but unfortunately, I've been waiting for a day that's not raining or windy, and it's happening to be Friday afternoon rush hour. I've wanted to see this done. I haven't seen it done online before, so even if it's a first, that's something. The one thing that might save me from looking too weird is it's coming up to Halloween soon, right? So maybe people are like, oh, it's just early on the Halloween. You watch, give it six months and some Chinese company is going to come out with little sticky bits of string that you can put all over your bike and they're going to call it a new fashion. <laughs> it would also be interesting if someone was to do this and maybe put like the strings all over themselves and their helmet. But it would be much better if you could have like a camera crew following you or, or something like that from a chase car rather than sticking cameras to yourself. I wasn't going to go onto a 70 mile an hour road to see what it looks like, but I think we need to. So I've gone to the effort, it is Friday afternoon, it's gonna be rush hour, but I just wanna see, you know, the airflow of like 70 on this. It would be, it's probably be quite different to 30 to 40, which is what we've been doing this whole time. I imagine the string's gonna be a lot more straight if it's got a good flow, and they're gonna be blowing all over the place if they're in a turbulent zone. So they're moving faster. There's a lot of wiggling. 
Yeah, the roads are very busy, so it's good that we got one quick run to see what it's like at faster speeds. And it turns out they just move a lot faster. What I'm quite pleased to see is I kind of imagined like the airflow and how things work, like the vortices and the lows and the high pressures, and it's all pretty much done what I thought it would do. I didn't think there'd be negative pressure here, but I guess it totally makes sense because the whole nose is covered both below and, uh, and above, so it's going to cause that negative zone. But I thought maybe we wind would sneak through like a fart. <laughs> now remember, air resistance uh, goes up exponentially, so if you go into the air at, say, 10 miles an hour, the wind resistance you'll feel won't be double at 20. It's a lot more. So this is why, you know, cars that want to do 300 miles an hour only need like two or three hundred brake horsepower to get up to like 150 but then when you want to start cranking up and up and up from there it's like you need an extra 600 brake horsepower for like 40 more mile an hour and like or now you need an extra thousand to get to you know they're not true numbers but you know what i mean that's that's why aerodynamics is so important because it's the faster you go into it the more it's trying to hold you back and of course that's why racers tuck in races because not only are they stopping the air hitting them in the chest, they're also filling this low point so the air can flow straight over the top of the screen, over their helmet and over the back of them and off the bike as cleanly as possible without causing these suction zones, as it were. But what they're doing nowadays, you may have noticed, is they're putting wings all over bikes. And now the reason why riders are hanging off the side of the bike more than they used to, partially, is because they want to get out of the way of that aero because they've got wings that are designed to work when they're lent over. So they need to get their body out of the way of that airflow so it can get onto the spoilers and have its effect. It's all very interesting. But of course, they don't use strings now. They use air pressure sensors. And you may have seen those like square mesh looking things they put on the tail when they're doing testing, which has got little, uh, what are they called? They call? I'm trying to remember, are pito tubes for temperature or air pressure? I think they're air pressure. So they would be little pitots. Thank you. I wonder if uh, a string covered bike gets more attention. What's also, oh blimey, that, that's, that's one of those ones that's like, please come on through. Thank you, my man. He gets an extra like, good thumb. Here you go, it's elaborate. Thank you. Apparently if you cover your bike in strings, people move out of your way. Do this. Cover your bike in strings. <laughs> if anyone else wants to try this out, do it. Be nice if you credit me if you found out about this through me and as i say i i haven't found anyone else who's done this yet but it would be interesting if someone could do this maybe on a track thank you to the weather though for actually doing exactly what i needed it to I did think you'd see more difference in airflow side to side as you go around corners and stuff, but I guess really the bike is seeing the air straight on mostly. Even if it's leaning, it's still kind of... Please don't jump up, Pigeon! You're insane, Mr. Pigeon! The bike covered in worms just passed you and you didn't try and get a peck. What's amazed me the most though is the reactions that I've seen. Instead of anyone smiling, most of them have been confusion, which is understandable, and distrust. Like, I'm getting looks from one guy just back then, and he was like, what is he doing? Why is there string all over his bike? What's this all about? Margaret, call the police. There must be some really turbulent air going on around this bit, because it's torn these ones to pieces. But the ones on the front, you know, which sit nice and straight, they all look immaculate still.
So I guess if you ran this long enough, you, it would show where the most turbulent areas were because it would absolutely rip these to pieces and the, um, the other ones would be okay. It's very interesting. Yeah, and it's the same on both sides. You see, these ones are really mangled. But otherwise, everything else is pretty okay. I thought there would be like loads of real horrible turbulence up through this bit, but maybe Yamaha did some wind tunnel work with this after all. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting or useful. I'm not sure how it would be useful, but it might be interesting. Uh, if you'd like to hit the like button, I'd appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new here. And if you'd like to help support my channel, please consider doing that through Patreon or YouTube memberships. As I say, this wasn't supposed to be some scientific study. This was supposed to be just to see what it would look like and see what happens. Interesting. Anyway, until the next one, bye-bye.